comment, and subscribe for more content. Where's the notification bell? It's to the right of you. Oh. Ooh, what's up guys? It's MD Shady back at again with another great video for you guys today. Today we will be looking at my entire haul for the month of April 2022. But before that, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit that little notification bell to be notified when future content like this video gets released. But anyways guys, let's check it out. So like I said, we will be taking a look at my entire haul of Funko products from April 2022 and it's mostly from April. I feel like a couple of the things I may have ordered at the end of March, but I did receive them in April. So technically it is part of the April haul. So the first set of things that I'm going to talk about, we actually showed off in yesterday's video with the mail call. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out and then come back to this video. So in that video, I showed off that I had received a package from Pop Heart Case Canada, as well as a package from our friends over at K-Dog and Fish. So I'll show off the Pop Heart Case Canada products first. So the first item that I ordered from Pop Heart Case Canada is actually a black light keychain and this works surprisingly well. I don't know, I guess you guys can kind of see the black light there. It's, it's actually pretty good for the size of it and it definitely, does a really nice glow on my glow in the dark pops as well as illuminating my black light pops. So I figured if I was going to be ordering that and paying for shipping, I might as well add some more stuff to my package. So I ended up purchasing 12 of these 3D printed bases for a soda figure where basically you can put the can right there. There's a slit on both sides for the pog and then it has a flat spot right here, obviously to display the figure. And these are awesome because they are the same uh, dimensions, I guess you could say, as a pop box. So you could stack them on top, or you could even just put these in a like soft protector. I think they would probably also fit in a, like a pop stack or a hard case from Pop Hard Case Canada. And then the next package that I received in that video, obviously was a package from K-Dog and Fish. And I had ordered six pops, which were all on sale for eight bucks, which is an amazing deal. I think personally because I needed to add these pops to my collection. So all six of these pops are common pops from the new Seinfeld wave. Uh, I guess there's only one wave, but the new Seinfeld pops. So the first pop we got was the common Jerry Seinfeld. And this pop is pretty cool. I really like how he has his stand up kind of attire on like he would be on stage and he even has a microphone in his hand. Then we have Newman and this pop is great as well. I like how they made it look like he is a little bit more heftier and he has his male uniform on, which is awesome because he is the uh, mailman. So this is a pretty cool pop as well and I'm really enjoying the set. Then we have Jerry in the puffy shirt and I'm actually surprised that this isn't an exclusive. I feel like this could have easily been like a Funko Shop exclusive and I feel like people would have wanted it because this is, I feel, just such an iconic moment in Seinfeld and such a funny episode. Next up in the Seinfeld wave we have the common Kramer and I really enjoy this Kramer. I kind of like it better than some of the exclusives. The exclusives are pretty funny. I mean, there's the golf Kramer, there's, there's a few different Kramers and they're all pretty funny, but I feel like if you only want one Kramer pop, this is kind of the one to get because it kind of just sums him up in one single figure. Next up, we have Elaine with the sombrero and this is another pop that I feel could have been an exclusive, maybe even if it was just like a Walmart exclusive or maybe like a specialty series, something like that. I feel like it just should have been because it's a variant of Elaine. And then finally for my package from K-Dog and Fish, we have the common Elaine. And this is what I'm talking about. This is like Elaine right here. Whereas the sombrero one is kind of a moment in the show. So this makes sense not to be an exclusive, but I feel like that sombrero lane probably could have been. So earlier in the month, I went over to our local GameStop and I found a pop that I was very excited to see because we had just talked about it a couple days prior on the podcast and I was surprised to see it in stores right away, especially here in Canada, where sometimes we don't get stuff for a little bit. The pops with purpose, make a wish, Spider-Man, I've been really collecting Spider-Man Pops recently and I think that the blue metallic on this looks sweet and obviously it is for a good cause obviously to the Make-A-Wish Foundation so this pop's great. I actually would consider buying every pop in the set because I think they would look so beautiful all next together. So then a few days later I went back to that same GameStop and I found the common Lucario 
Pokemon Pop and this is pretty sweet. I actually like how it looks in person compared to the glam shots that we've seen and I know when we talked about it on the podcast, we talked about how the eyes are darker than the actual kind of coloring of the, I guess, darker gray on the face. But in person, it really stands out a lot more than on that glam shot. So I'm super happy about this, about how this pop turned out. There's the other three pops in the set, obviously, Alakazam and Sylveon. And I don't have all three of these yet. I have the Lucario, and then we might actually have a Sylveon on the way sometime soon, so hopefully we do get that, and I will have to find an Alakazam to finish off the set. So after I found the Lucario, I was looking around in GameStop, and I found this, which I was pretty surprised to see. It's the Previews exclusive Iron Man with the Gantry, and this is awesome. I wasn't really going to pick this pop up, but when I seen it in person, I was like, oh, this is really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in my collection or if I'm gonna use it to trade, but I do like it a lot, so it might actually end up staying in the collection. So actually today, DK came over and he had picked something up for me, which he pre-ordered at a GameStop that is a couple cities away from us because we had our GameStop that was shut down for a bit. So it was there and then he called them and asked if they could send it over to our local GameStop, which they did, which was really cool. And then he picked it up there. So this was an awesome pre-order. It's the pretty brand new, I guess you could say, GameStop exclusive Halo game covers. And this thing looks awesome. Recently, I did just buy almost every Halo game. It is one of my favorite franchises, especially for Xbox being like the kind of flagship game, I guess you could say. This thing is so cool. I really love the different covers where you have that kind of hard pop stack inside of it. I think these are just great, and this one looks so cool. What an iconic cover. The one thing I don't like about this is obviously that new GameStop sticker, but here in Canada, I think we are actually getting a sticker that says GameStop, but it has that old Canadian leaf that we had for our EB Games sticker. So not only that, I was also surprised by DK when he told me that he bought a Soup Troop uh, Paka Paka figure and he pulled the tomato soup, which is so awesome. I really enjoy this lineup of the Soup Troops. And we actually traded, I had this, and we traded for the chicken noodle soup and because I kind of liked that one better and he liked this one better. And then he ended up pulling another one. So he said, hey man, like you might as well just have this. I don't need to. And this is awesome. I can't wait to collect more of these soup troops. So in the month of March, I had done some talking on Instagram with a fellow friend and that is Mike the Body Phantom, Royal City Pop Guelph. And he was showing off some different uh, things that he was looking to sell. And one thing that definitely caught my eye, so I did throw together a package of stuff that I bought off him and he threw some extra goodies in for me and DK, which was super awesome. Thanks, Mike. So the first thing that he threw in was actually three of his stickers, which are actually pretty nice stickers. I didn't even know that Mike had stickers and yeah, these look awesome. Can't wait to put these on the sticker wall. And obviously DK will be receiving one as well. He also threw in this Dwight Schrute Pocket Pop. Uh, this is awesome really enjoy this, but I do know someone who would enjoy this even more, and of course, that is DK, so this will also be going to him. And then Mike went above and beyond, and he actually threw a couple more things in with this package, and that is a couple of these WWE pop pins with The Undertaker and Macho Man. I'm a pretty huge Macho Man fan, and DK is obviously influenced very strongly by The Undertaker, and it is one of his favorite wrestlers. He's actually met him. Uh, so DK will definitely be getting this Undertaker, and I'll keep the Macho Man. Ooh, yeah! So one of the first pops that we agreed on for this bundle deal was the Pop in a Box exclusive Flocked Gossamer from Space Jam A New Legacy, and this thing is sexy. I actually really enjoy this. I do want to get kind of a like semi fully complete Space Jam set for the original Space Jam set, which I almost have every figure and obviously a new legacy. And I actually haven't seen this movie yet. So I'm going to have to go see that very soon. And uh, maybe when I watch it, I'll hold on to my flock Gossamer. This thing is so cool. I really enjoy the attire and the flocking. That red flocking is just so nice, especially on a large figure like Gossamer. And keeping it in the Looney Tunes realm and the flock realm for that matter, I got the Pop and Tea bundle of 
Sylvester and Tweety. And this is pretty sweet as well. I do have the common pops of these. I actually have two of that pop, but I wanted to get the flocked and I'm a sucker for really cool pop and tea. Here's the pop itself. There's the flock Tweety, looks really cool. And there's the flock Sylvester. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but because it's white flocked and black flocked, there's actually kind of like some black fuzz on the white, which might be able to be cleaned up if I take it out of the box and kind of just give it a little wipe. We'll see, but that's interesting. I've never really seen pops. I don't know if I even own a pop that has multiple colors of flocking on it. This might actually be a first for the collection, but it's actually not that bad. It's kind of just me kind of looking at quality control, I guess, on a flock pop like this. And this is definitely a lot cooler than the common, in my opinion. So let's take a look at the box for the thing, and then we'll take a look at the t-shirt as well. So here is the top of the box, and how classic is that? That just looks so awesome. You have Sylvester and Tweety inside of the Looney Tunes logo, and they are obviously popified. That looks great. Then you have the front of the box here, and unfortunately it is a medium, so, uh, I'm a little bit of a bigger guy. I got some weight to lose before I can fit into that shirt, that's for sure. So the front of the box looks pretty cool as well. Sylvester's got his head stuck in the cage and Tweety is up there with the hammer and he's obviously been bonked on the head because he's all dizzy. And then you go to the side view, the back view, it shows off the pop and the shirt. And then the other side, this is awesome. This is what we like with pop and tea bundles. We have not really been liking those kind of longer boxes that have the window where there's actually not even a window there so you can see the pop which i understand if you see this in stores some people might not understand that there's a figure inside of here as well as a t-shirt so i get that it's kind of a better marketing thing but these boxes just look so cool and there's been a lot of different ones that relate to whatever fandom it's based on so here is the t-shirt and this thing looks pretty cool. I'm actually surprised that it's a gray t-shirt. I was thinking it was going to be orange to kind of fit the vibe of Looney Tunes, but I think the gray looks good as well. I like the kind of uh, monotone colorway on here with the yellows and the like black being done in like a teal kind of green color. I think that this is a really nice pop t-shirt and unfortunately it is a medium and it's so close to fitting me but I just need to uh, maybe do a little bit more working out and then I can wear this in our videos. And then lastly the final thing that I bought in the month of April is kind of the big daddy of everything. This is what I was talking to Mike about. This is definitely what I wanted the most and that is the Funko Soda Lounge Fly Bag six pack for TMNT, this is awesome. I can't wait to open this up. Let's take a look at the cans first. So this bag is phenomenal. I really enjoy these. So taking a look at the six sodas that come in here, we have Raphael, Bebop, Donatello, and I really like the way this can looks. Maybe that's just my purple bias working in. Rocksteady, Leonardo, and then lastly, kind of the fan favorite, Michelangelo. And look at that, he's eating a pizza. So yeah, this set is awesome and I can't wait to open it up, but we will be holding on to it until we have enough soda cans that we feel we can do an amazing video for you guys on YouTube, which we're actually not too far off of our mark. So we're just gonna keep steadily collecting cans, especially six packs like this. And uh, then you guys can see the uh, fire that beholds inside of here because uh, there is a guaranteed chase in here, so I kind of personally hope that it's either Bebop or Rocksteady because I think that the turtles should just stay their normal colors, and I would kind of be forced to buy a common of one of the turtles if I did pull the chase in that video, so hopefully it is Rocksteady or Bebop, but this thing is awesome. So yeah, I definitely did get a lot of stuff, I guess, between... Uh, getting some free stuff from Mike Fan, obviously getting that soup troop from Dylan, which was super awesome of him to give me. So yeah, there was definitely quite a bit of stuff here that I like. And if you liked it as well, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what was your favorite thing that I picked up in the month of April. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the little notification bell to be notified when future content like this video gets released. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace in.
Peace out. Follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at a Funko Podcast. If you want to check out some of our other content that's featured on our channel, you can click either the playlist that's on your screen right now featuring previous episodes of our weekly podcast, a Funko Podcast, or we have suggested a video for you guys in relation to today's video. 